Hey everybody, or another Mighty Reviews. Uh, as you can see in front of you, uh, there's a Baofeng UV5R, there's an antenna, and there's a relocation cable. So this video is not about the Baofeng. Uh, plenty of other videos out there about Baofengs. What it is about is this antenna made by Aubrey and this relocation cable that I don't remember who the fuck made it. Yay! Um, I got this off eBay years ago. I think I'm going on like six years now. Maybe, maybe five of having this antenna, the relocation cable, and it has been awesome. It's bomb proof. So I'm going to try to find where I bought it. I'm pretty sure it was eBay. Um, it was a long time ago. And uh, if I can, I will link to the actual seller if he still exists because he made a great fucking cable. Uh, if not, though, you can get a cable just like this guy from a Disco 32. So I will also link them. So relocation cable. You've got your antenna port piece here. Pretty cool. It is a little gooseneck. It comes on. It's QD. And I like that it moves. It swivels. So if you get snagged up, it's not a uh, pinch point. It's not like it's going to snag and then fail and break off your antenna. That is pretty awesome. Cool thing that I learned was this guy here is the same thread pitch and setup for a Motorola radio. Uh, I think it's the XTS. 1,000 or 3,000? I'll, I'll put in the description below. It was the radios that I used at work, and I was able to run this awesome relocation cable off of this and relocate my um, Motorola antenna because it's the same pitch as a nothing. So if you have a uh, Motorola like XTS. 3,000, 5,000, 1,000, whatever the fuck it was. XTS radio, uh, especially ones with the Jedi connectors on the side. If you're a civilian and you've got one of those, this will work for you. Uh, if you're military and you're still using that radio, if you're like, I don't know, like a MP or something of that nature, uh, this should work. So try it out maybe. Give it a whirl. Maybe they've changed the antenna. Maybe they haven't. But I know the older radios, it definitely works. I ran it for like two years and it was fucking awesome. Uh, it got it got the antenna out from under my armpit. I was happy as a clam. Anyway, Aubrey antenna, fucking great antenna. Uh, increases your range, gives you that military silhouette that everybody wants when they're doing a LARPy cool guy Milsim games. So now your UV5R radio looks on the outside with its ancillary pieces uh, like a Harris or a Thales radio. That's pretty cool. So now you're not just running around with one of these little skinny thin dick whips that you would normally have on a uh, bow thing. But you've got this awesome, uh, you know, fat dick spirit fucking whip antenna that's going to be doing its thing and looking like a regular whip, even though it's plugged in to one of these guys. Uh, a buddy of mine, he uh, lives in a mountainous area and he has one of these and he said his range has gone up phenomenally. Um, I can say for certain after having this for about a year now. I've only got to use it a couple times, but that's kind of why I waited to do a uh, review. Uh, we got better range from what we had before uh, off this. My son was running this radio and this antenna and this whole setup on his 1694. And before, I would struggle to hear him across this airsoft field we play out locally. And when I put this on, I hear him clear as day, all day, from one side of the field to the other. It's not a ma it's not a massively big uh, plot of like land, but it's big enough. So clarity and distance did go up with this antenna. Um, I did get this off Amazon. Uh, I got this from I believe the Aubrey store. Uh, the first one I got, full disclosure, uh, I'm not actually. Let me back that up. So I'm not sponsored by Amazon or Aubrey or anything. This is some shit I bought myself because I wanted a whip. But uh, let you guys know about this. So. When I first got this, uh, this guy here, not this one, but the other one I had gotten, because I had to send the first one back. This portion here got all jammed up when trying to put it on the radio, and it just gutted out. It just ripped out. And uh, they were like, yo, that's faulty. That should never have happened. And they sent me a replacement with no issues. So that was pretty cool. Good on them. One thing I like about this, too, is it brings this radio... Uh, into a really cool, like I said, millsimmy area. But also, if you're trying to put together uh, some comms for, I don't know, like uh, preparedness, uh, even hiking, uh, survival, whatever, whatever, uh, 
if you have to like if you live in like an area that's prone to like wildfires you need to fucking dd mount and bust out um this will help you with better range for this radio and that is pretty damn cool because these radios are awesome i love them um there's even a newer one that looks like a 152 it's pretty cool but uh but yeah the, this radio is pretty sweet and this gives you just a little bit more um, peace of mind knowing that if your cell phone's fuckery is, is all fucky and gone down, um, you still might be able to talk to somebody with this because, well, if you know, you know. Uh, I'm not going to go into why. Um, it's not going to work on the cell network. That's not what I'm saying. But any, anyway, great cable, great antenna, great radio, all together, baller ass setup. Um, if you are looking for something to bring your UV5R up to a mil semi, uh, more military look, uh, this will this will do you right. This will set you up, and it gives you a more cost effective comm solution other than going with like a TRI. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I hope this was a useful video. Uh, like I said, I don't remember the name of who made this. I'll see if I can find it. But if not, uh, fear not, you can get relocation cables just like this for your UV5Rs off of Disco 32. Again, not sponsored by them. I just know they sell them. And they're one of the only places I've seen that makes really uh, diverse Baofeng uh, accessories and products. Uh, this antenna... Yeah, people say, oh, it's cheap tiny shit. Whatever. It worked great. And I like it. So... Can't go wrong with that. Got that off Amazon. Again, like I just said, I'm backing up. I'm fucking repeating myself. But thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. I hope this maybe sold you or gave you some information on an Aubrey going, okay, how does that look? What is that going to be like? And um, I'm going to throw it out here fast. Maybe the, this will help you out with that decision on whether or not you want to pull the trigger on one of these. They're not terribly expensive. They're less than 30 bucks. But there you go. Now you got a whip. Um same with the antenna relocation cable. I don't remember the price on this one. They're a little more expensive than I believe this, but I could be wrong. But now you're you're good to go. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. If you have any uh, comments, you know, you have any experience with these Aubrey antennas, uh, let me know. If you got experience with these relocation cables for UV five Rs, let me know. I'd love to I'd love to get in the conversation and talk about it. Um, I try to answer all my uh, comments when I can. I'm still a small enough channel. I'm almost at 180 subscribers. That's fucking retardedly cool. I didn't even think I'd get that far even in the time frame I've gotten. So thank all of you out there who've been watching my content and commenting and interacting with me and subscribing. I truly appreciate it and I hope to bring you more cool content and products in the very near future. Take care guys. Play some Airsoft. Run some comms. Go LARP like a fake JTAC and talk to uh, plants that don't exist. Peace.